everybody, got this IP recap for the Charlotte Knights at Rough Tides, Charlotte's AAA affiliate of the Chicago White Sox. But before I show that, I want to show two cards my dad got for me over uh, the Gwinnett series that I forgot I had. So he got me a uh, Jason Mott. He was there on Monday and I thought it was him, but I wasn't sure. And it turns out that's who it was, so my dad got that for me. And I randomly found this Matt Woolsey card. And I just asked him to get that signed for me too, and he did. So I was asking my dad to get those two cards signed. So now into the actual recap. I went Friday post-game after I got the off on my school. And I got the charters. So Mike Pelfrey, he did three of three. He's a really nice guy. He'll sign whatever you put in front of him. He's really cool. Really nice. And he had a good major league career, so that's nice to get. Then I got the other charter, Renato Lopez, one to two. It's best to get him when he's charting because afterwards he tries to run by. So it's nice to get him. Post game, I got Ryan Rayburn, one of three. There was a huge crowd Friday night post game. And when he came out, he was shocked at how many people were. But thankfully, he signed, got one of three. Then I got Rymer Liriano. He did two of four. He's two per. I don't know. He doesn't really talk much. And then I got Matt Perk. Three of three. He signs whatever two, but you can kind of tell he doesn't really like to do it, but he still does sign, so. Really nice. So yeah, Matt Perk. Three of three. I got Carson Fulmer, he does one per, so I got him on the rookie. Carson Fulmer's a really nice guy, so you can basically get him every time you see him, he just does one at a time. And then I got Tyler Danish, who's kind of weird, he signs every time you ask him, but first time I asked him Friday night, he did two of eight. And I got Lucas Giolito. He's one per, and he personalizes, but I don't really mind. So, Giolito. Then I got Tyler Leidendorf. Really nice guy too. And by that point, Mankata had come out, and he didn't sign for anyone. So that was basically what I was waiting for. I missed Birdie in the big uh, mosh pit for all those other guys. So, went over the tight side. Got Giant G. Vitella. One per. Really nice though. Then I got Jason Aquino. When he came out of the locker room, you can tell he was pretty high. You could smell it all over him, but he still signed. He was kind of a jerk about it too. But it's whatever. And then uh, Alvarez came out and he just denied. But you gotta figure that was coming. Got him a couple times already. So then I went on Saturday to the game, and as soon as I got in, Andy Tomberlin, he did one card I had for him. I went over to the tie side to try to get a Chance Cisco, and I got Chance Cisco. He kind of met, he made a little stray mark, so he signed, and he kind of like nicked it, but it's whatever. He gave me a pretty nice autograph. This is much nicer than what he gave me before. And I got the pitching coach, Steve McCarthy. Or McCaddy. And then going to the bullpen, I got Chris Beck. He did three of three. And then the only position player to sign pregame was Adam Engel. He did two of two. He's a nice guy as well. Then I got the charters. I got Carson Fulmer. And I got Lopez again. So you definitely want to get Lopez when he's charting because otherwise he tries to slip by. Then outside, I got Danish. He did 4 of 4. So that's like what I said. It was weird. He only did 2 one time and then he did 4 this time. Then I got Lucas Giolito again. 
open again during all this mad rush because there's a decent amount of people. It's just Mr. Birdie again. And then Moncada came out and literally he got swarmed where he couldn't even go past the little area where the players come out. And he signed for maybe about 8 to 10 people. But it was just, uh, he got just engulfed by people and I didn't get him. So I went off the tight side, and thankfully I had an order of cards that came in, so that I was able to get Alex Castellanos. Got another Michael Choice. And then I got another Giant Giovatella. Really nice guy. Then Pedro Alvarez came out a little later. He's always the last one to come out for the tides. And there's another, it was the regular people and then there was another group of people just randomly there and they asked Pedro if he could take a picture with them and then he looked at the group of regular people and he said no and then he walked over to his car then somehow he signaled for them to come over so he drove his car a little bit further in the parking lot and had them come over and got out take a, took a picture with them so I understand he doesn't want to sign for us because I guess he's just used to us now but still all you have to say is you don't want to sign. You don't have to go through all that just to avoid us. That's just, it's a little much, but that's that. So then Sunday, today, I did Arrival. I was able to get Mark Grzelanek, the manager. He's two per. I only had the one card for him, though. You can tell he doesn't like the sign, but he does do it. Then I got Giolito. He did personalize it. I wanted to see how well it came off on these cards, and it came off pretty well. But, you know, that was nice. I got Carson Blair. Pretty nice guy. Giovanni Soto. Another nice guy. You can tell him apart because he has a little neck tattoo and you can kind of see it in the car there. He's nice though too. Pretty much all these players are pretty nice. They just have their limits. And then for arrival, finally I got the man I was looking for the most. Yoan Mankata on this Diamond Kings rookie. There's only like seven of us, so he signed for all of us. Really happy to get him. I told him Happy Easter, and he actually said thank you. That was the first thing I've ever heard him say, so that was really nice that he signed. Really happy I got him. And then pregame, Mankata signed again. He signed for basically everyone but me, because when, when he got to me, the anthem started, and he ran off. So that sucked. But... I got uh, Giolito again when he was charting. And then I also got Fulmer again when he was charting. As you can see, I didn't get Moncada on this. But next time Charlotte's in town in mid-May, if he's still on the roster, you know I'm going to go hard to get that finished. And then Tyler Danish came out for a uh, departure. Uh, he had four on the page, and he did two again, so sometimes he does two, sometimes he does four. I don't know. It's weird. It's whatever, though. And then I got Ryan Rayburn again. You can tell he doesn't like to sign, but he'll do it if you kind of just ask him enough. Romero Liriano. Two per. And since the uh, departure, there's only like six people. When Moncada came out, he just walked up and started to sign. So I got him on the sweet spot. That was really nice. It's really, it turned out really nice too, so I'm happy with it. And then I got Everest Cabrera. He's on a DL, but he's traveling. Got him on these three cards. So overall, Sunday definitely made the day worth it. Got Mankata twice, could have had him three times on one day, and I had no luck the other day, so getting the card and then getting the sweet spot, which turned out pretty nice too. So it's definitely a good good Easter Sunday and a good series overall. So I'm going to Pittsburgh this weekend to see the Pirates and Yankees, and then go to West Virginia to see the Power play Lakeland uh, Phillies affiliate. So thanks for watching. I'll have those recaps up afterwards and till then later